Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. This is Coogan Cassius Fry from London. We're at the TKO gym here in Cannon Town. With me, I've got trainers of Billy Joe Saunders, uh, Jimmy Tibbs. How are you, Jimmy? I'm very well, thanks, Coog. Yeah. Um, a great opportunity uh, come next week for uh, your Billy Joe Saunders to capture that coveted Lonsdale belt. So, is he ready for this? Yeah, he's ready for the fight. Um, we've not underestimated uh, Nick Blackwell. We're ready for an hard fight. Uh, Bill's trained very well. Uh, as I say, we're confident, but not overconfident. Yeah, I mean, reading some comments from people, they seem to think this could be a bit of a walkthrough for Billy Joe Saunders, but you know, I don't see it being a complete walkthrough. And what, what sort of test is Nick Blackwell going to provide here? Well, he's very game, very strong. He's not going to swallow anything. So, and uh, obviously, Joe wouldn't pr be preparing the way he is if he thought he was going to be a walkover. No fights a walkover. You can't trust anything. Nothing's done till it's done. And that's the way we were looking at it. Um, obviously, I know you're not going to want to really look past this fight, but just in hindsight, this time next year, is there a possibility of Billy Joe Saunders possibly competing at world level? If things go well next week, there's a possibility of him uh, competing at world level. I wouldn't say fight for the world title, but I'll say world level, yeah, European level. So obviously, this the middleweight division here in this country is very competitive but no one's fighting one another so yeah. you know who the number one middleweight is is all a big question to everyone and Billy Joe Saunders is right in the mix of that isn't it Jim? That's true yeah but you see what it is it's not the fighters it's the promoters everyone wants to promote their own fighter which you can't blame them they've all invested money in their fighters so unless something's uh, it's all down to who wins the purse bid if it goes to purse bids then they can start fighting one another. So obviously Billy Joe's still unbeaten now, but you're pleased with the progression he's made obviously since the Olympics to now. Is it all been timed perfectly for what, what's going to happen next week, hopefully for you? Yeah, uh, everything's gone very well. I mean, uh, he's been matched very well. He's got a good team behind him, his manager, Frank Warren, matchmaker Dean Powell, uh, myself training him as what Mark, his conditioner. Everything's gone according to plan so far. Uh, but that's through hard work and not underestimating people. Because it works hard, I know a lot of people see the, the joke you cite the Billy Joe Saunders, but he puts in the graft, the, the, the hard work and the dedication, and that's where he, he is where he is. Well, you can see by his last three fights when he won the Commonwealth title. I know it was 30 seconds, but he'd done his job, caught the man. And then things do happen in boxing. Uh, that's why we're not underestimating this guy. Uh, and then he defended it against the Welsh kid. Um, I can't think of his name. Bradley Price. Bradley Price, that's right. Uh, there was 12 old rounds. Bradley Price came to, to win that night. And then uh, he stopped the, uh, the Australian. And everyone said that was a 50-50 fight. And uh, he got ready for it and uh, he turned it round. All right, well, Jimmy, um, thank you very much for talking to wife from London. Like I said, we look forward to next, next week. It's, uh, it's, 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 a good fight. it's a good fight for both fighters. Like I said, a great chance for Nick Blackwell to get this title. And obviously f f for Billy Joe as well. So... You know, regardless of what people are saying about it, you know, we'll see what happens next week. Absolutely, that's right. We can't. Um, that's why I said in the first place, we're not underestimating Nick Blackwell or anybody else. The, good, the job's got to be done properly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.